Hello! Today we will be making catalytically upgraded pyrolysis oil. As far as ingredients go, you will need the following. Mixed plastic waste. This can include number two plastic, like this dish soap bottle, number one plastic, like this water bottle, number four plastic, like this grocery bag, number five plastic, like this takeout container, number six plastic, like this insulation, and even number seven plastic like this reusable coffee cup. Most plastics, with the big exception of PVC or number three plastic, should be recyclable through this method. Even stuff your recycling center won't necessarily take. The other thing you'll need is powdered zeolite. This is a mineral commonly found in detergents and cat litters. First, start by grinding your plastic waste into smaller fragments. Add your ground plastic waste to a vessel and make sure it is well mixed. Preheat your reactor to the requisite temperature. Here's a schematic for the fluidized bed reactor you will need. Now transfer the ground mixed plastic waste to the fluidized bed reactor and add the zeolite powder. The process works as follows. In a traditional pyrolysis process, you use heat to break down something, in this case plastic. And it's a bit like hitting an ice cube. Picture each of these ice cubes are a molecule of your polymer with a hammer. It'll break into a lot of smaller fragments and you don't have a lot of control over what you'll end up with. In comparison, catalytic pyrolysis is a bit closer to cutting an ice cube with a knife. It'll still shatter a little bit, but you have much more precise control over the fragments you'll end up with. It looks like our pyrolysis process is finished. The product is catalytically upgraded pyrolysis oil, an oil that can be either sold as a commodity chemical or even used to make 100% recycled plastic. It can also be burned as fuel.